You're probably curious what this device is. This device allows you to access through LAN port, through the internet, through the network, any device that has HDMI port. So you can connect this thing at the back of your NAS or at the back of your PC, or maybe even at the back of your TV or multimedia player. This is a very popular device for IT admins because they have clients all around the world and uh, instead of going physically to their office to fix any issue if the server is not booting or maybe if there's any issue that requires you to log into BIOS you cannot do these things remotely. Things like TeamViewer or any remote desktop will allow you to log into a admin panel or operating system but you will never get access to the backbone of the system so this device allows you to do that. You can get one of these for $20 from AliExpress, which is, I think, very good price. So without a long introduction, let's have a look how to set it up and how to access your devices remotely. So when you order one of these, all you get is manual like this. And this is where you start the setup process. So I'm gonna be connecting it to Raspberry Pi uh, because Raspberry Pi doesn't have a remote access um, app or environment. So if you want to get one of these devices, actually they cost now £6.49 for the light version. It's less than $10, it's crazy. So there are two versions, one is light and one is more advanced option with uh, LED screen. So the difference is there are two USB-C uh, ports instead of one, but otherwise it's the same. You can only get IP address displayed on the panel, so it's easier to manage it. But we have a light version with HDMI port and USB-C port. So one is for powering and uh, also acting as a keyboard or mouse. And HDMI port is for input. So the server output port, output HDMI, will go into this KVM input port. And then obviously LAN port connects to your router or switch. You also get your additional connections if you want to run some experiments, if you're advanced level. Uh, otherwise, just keep it simple. The most popular device you will connect it to is a NAS server, most likely, or any other kind of server. So the first two steps is to connect from your server uh, HDMI port and USB port, and then connect LAN port to your router or switch. Otherwise, you can have some more advanced connections if you want to control it and create your little experiments. But otherwise, you'll be able to log into the system using IP address that's displayed on the screen. Username is admin and password is admin. Here are some differences between light and full version. So it has different chip. Both of them have 1080p support 60 frames per second. And more advanced versions also have TF card support. And also in uh, full version, you can add Wi-Fi or PoE uh, connection to this device. So with this Raspberry Pi, we're gonna connect HDMI port. And at the other end, we're gonna connect this KVM. And we will connect USB port to this KVM's USB-C slot. And then all that is left is to connect LAN port to your switch or router. A little Frankenstein device. So let's power it on and see what happens. So the device is now booting up. We need to figure out what IP address this little adapter has. To get manuals and read about this device, you'll need to go to wikisipe.com and then you will find all documentation about this device and the use case, you can read about all about it. So first thing that we need, we need something called Nano KVM image that we're gonna put on SD card. So let's download the latest version, which is 2.2.1. And then in order to create ISO file, we'll need to download Rufus so first we need to erase this SD card. So let's give it a name, give it a FAT file system, erase. Just in case you're curious how to connect SD card to your computer, you can get SD card adapter and then you can slide it in and connect it to your computer. So you choose SD card, select our target, what we downloaded, XZ image file, and click start. And now after Rufus has burned the ISO file into this SD card, we can put it back into our KVM. Let's unplug the power 
and plug it back in so it reboots. You can go into your router and check what devices are connected to the router. So you will see there's a name KVM and that's the IP address of this little adapter. Otherwise you can use something called IP scanner and then you can see KVM has this IP address. You can put that IP address into a browser and you'll be able to log into this admin panel. Default username and password is admin admin. Click login, then it will ask you to change the password. Make sure you put the secure password, especially if you're accessing outside the home or office or the internet. And then you can log in and you'll be able to see HDMI output from, in my case, Raspberry Pi. As you can see, my Raspberry Pi was pre-configured as Kodi Media Player, so I can watch all the movies, uh, listen to music and watch telly and other things. If you want to turn your TV into a smart TV using Kodi Media Player, so this is kind of um, Plex or Netflix alternative, so you can go to DigiPi channel and search for Raspberry Pi videos. One of those videos will show you how to do this. So as you see, you can control everything what is going on on this Raspberry Pi, even though you are not directly connected to Raspberry Pi. So you can switch on your keyboard or mouse. So at this point, you can use IP address to connect to this device in your local network. So if it's business and you have a server room somewhere in the basement, you don't need to walk downstairs to see what's going on with the server. You can do that from your office by typing in the IP address. If you're not in the office, if you're on a holiday and you need to access the server, you'll need to click on Tailscale and then create a Tailscale account. Tailscale is a VPN kind of service, which will allow you remotely to connect to your KVM adapter, and then you can control any device you have connected this adapter to. Either it's your server, computer, Raspberry Pi, or any other device that has HDMI port. So this has been a video how to access your devices remotely using this KVM adapter. This little device gives you a remote access to a server, to a Raspberry Pi, to any device that has HDMI port. If you're using this for work, you probably are paying for some service like um, TeamViewer. This little device is now like six pounds. Normally it's like $20. And this is your doorway to connect remotely to your laptop, server, Raspberry Pi, any other device using the internet. If you want to see me connecting this adapter into other devices like TV or media players, do let me know. I'm going to make a video like that. And if you follow the channel, you'll be notified when those videos go live. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you next time.